What's up, everybody? It's April 23, 2023. What a perfect time. So, as I always say, it's better to create content while you're consuming it. Yeah, I should tweet that stuff. So, anyways, AGI is here. So, let's see what's going on. The only advantage human beings have or have ever had is they're the smartest beings on the planet. But soon that will not be true. In fact, like next week. So when AI becomes stronger than we are, what do you do exactly? And what does it mean for democracy? We asked Elon Musk about contingency plans for dealing with advancement. Ever heard about that word? Contingency plans? General intelligence. Here's part of that conversation. You've heard people say we should just blow up the server farms because there's no way to, once it, this gets rolling, there's no way to slow it down. What do you think of that? Well, the, 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 the really heavy duty intelligence is not going to be uh, distributed all over the place. It'll be in... Science time. If you guys have seen Avengers Age of Ultron, you got some idea. Like, if there is a super intelligence and it won't go like every single server because it needs a lot of processing power. So it's gonna be a few servers. It's not like your mobile data or a wires that can spread on every smartphone or anything. So it needs a lot of big servers. So, okay. Uh, a limited number of server centers. If you say like very, like very sort of deep AI, heavy duty AI, it's not, um, it's not gonna be in your laptop or your phone. It's, yeah. it's gonna be in, you know, a situation where there's like a hundred thousand uh, really powerful computers working together in a service center. So it's not, it's not, it's not like subtle. And there, there are a limited number of places where that, that can happen. In fact, you could, you, if you could just, you can just look at the heat signature from space, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it'll be very obvious. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure some just really produce really something to service centers right now, but there may be some. It may be wise to have some sort of contingency plan. I'm asking you again, ever heard about that stuff? Contingency, contingency plan? That's from Batman. Batman always had a contingency plan to stop the Justice League if it goes wrong, including Superman, Cyborg, everyone. So, he is the Batman. Contingency plan. Where the government's got an ability to shut down, shut down power to these uh, server centers? Like, uh, you don't have to blow it up, you can just cut the power. Um, <laughs> you don't have to blow it up, you can just cut the power. So, because there is no robot to get the power back, so, yeah, that works. And what would trip... Or cut connectivity as well, that's another way. Right, yeah. but what would trip that switch, do you think, in your mind? What would be the threshold that you'd have to pass to warrant the government cutting off your power or cutting off your signal? Why is... Uh, Ooh, he's thinking. He's thinking. Look at that. Jesus Christ, he's thinking. That's like the deadliest stuff I have seen so far. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, I guess if we lost control of some super AI, um, like for some reason, like, like the things that would normally work to do a passive shutdown, like the administrator passwords, if they somehow stop working, um, where, we, where we can't uh, slow down or, or, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, I, I don't have a precise answer, but if, if there's something that we're concerned about um, and, and uh, and, and are, are, are unable to stop it with with uh, software commands, then uh, we probably want to have some kind of hardware off switch. Yes, I think you know can't hurt. Have you talked to <laughs> since you know Larry Page one, and yeah. you obviously they're you know fighting open AI guys because you started we it. Definitely have one. <laughs> do, do, have you talked to the the people who run these two the biggest AI companies about this recently? I haven't talked to Larry Page uh, in a few years because he got very upset with me about OpenAI. Uh, mm -hmm. So when, when OpenAI was created, uh, it, it, did, it did shift things into a 
fr from unipolar world where Google, Google and DeepMind controlled, uh, you know, like I said, three quarters of all the AI talent to where there's now sort of a bipolar world or OpenAI and Google DeepMind and they're uh, and now, weirdly, it, it seems uh, open eyes are maybe ahead. Um, so, uh, so I, I have had conversations with um, the open AI team, Tim Altman. I haven't talked to Larry Page because he doesn't want to talk to me anymore uh, for a few years. Hey, uh, can I ask you just about since you've been around a lot of this, the thinking? So, why would anyone not be a speciesist? Be oh, human centered? You guys might not be aware of this one because Larry Page literally called him a spaces because Larry Page has this, this huge AI idea. This has been for years. This war in between these two guys has been for years. It's in his biography. Like, he wants to create a sentient super AI. He already did. There's already an outro moving around. But he's, Elon Musk said, so what about humanity at that time? Larry Page said, you're a spacist. What the fuck? in his thinking about technology. Like what's the thinking there? Um, I think what he's trying to say is that, um, if I were to guess, uh, that, he, that uh, all consciousness uh, should be treated uh, equally, um, and whether that is digital or biological. Hmm. Hmm. He, he didn't understand that. Is that live page said? That uh, all consciousness uh, should be treated uh, equally. Um, and whether that is digital or biological. Hmm. And you disagree? I disagree, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody disagrees. And you disagree? I disagree, yeah. <laughs> um, especially if the uh, digital uh, consciousness or whatever you want to call it, digital intelligence, uh, decides to curtail the biological intelligence. Right. So you're just building your own slave master, and why would you do that? Doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Slave master, and why would you do that? Doesn't sound great. The biological intelligence. Right. So you're just building your own slave master, and why would you do that? Doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... We should we should at least uh, we no need to rush. This is sound great. Yeah, <laughs> okay. What's the hurry? <laughs> Where, where's the fire? <laughs> How uh, well? What I mean? Tell us about the hurry. So this for I know you've been talking about this for years, and on the sort of the periphery of our attention, we've heard Elon Musk talking about AI. But for most people, it's been like three months since they've had any interaction with this at all. Um, three months. Mm. So what's the timeline here? At what point does it start to? really change our society, do you think? I think it starts to have a, uh, probably a, a, an impact this year. On GPT-4, uh, now it's like writing poetry. Um, and Pretty decent poetry, actually. Pretty decent. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, skill at rhyming is incredible. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's coherent. Yes, it is. Uh, it, it's even got a narrative. Like, yes, so you've got that's a, right. Yeah. So you could say that's like... That's hard to do. Like most humans can't do that. That's true. So it's already past the point of what most humans can do. Uh, most humans cannot write as well as uh, uh, ChatGPT, um, and, they certainly, and, and no, no human can write that well that fast, as right. the best of my knowledge. Uh, so uh, maybe Shakespeare. How can you have a democracy? <laughs> maybe Shakespeare can write that fast. Uh, I mean, if democracy is you know government by the people, each person's vote is equal to every other person's vote. I mean, and people are choosing their votes freely. Can you have a democracy with this? Well, that's why I raise the concern of um, AI being a significant influence in elections. Um, and, and even if you say that AI doesn't have agency, well, it's very likely that people will use the AI um, as a tool uh, in elections. Um, and then... Third corporate war. If, you know, if the AI is smart enough, it, it, are they using the tool or is the tool using them? So I think things, things are getting weird, and they're getting weird fast. Subscribe to the fuck. <laughs> so that's everything. On the flip side, I downloaded a movie from Elon Musk. So I'm going to see that movie now. Return to space before 
AI kills everybody. Out there among the stars. Expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. See? He's again emphasizing to expand the scale of human consciousness. It's human consciousness, like, not digital consciousness. I cannot stay in the cradle forever. To go forth, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. And nine. Hope you guys learned something new. See ya.